Hey yo, Mark here. Gonna do a real quick video on how Matria did lights on her latest run of shows this summer. So, what we used is this program called Emu. They were formerly called Entech, and they had this thing called Gmxis, and they rebranded. So it is a software you can download, hundred dollars a year. I figure it's like one show ish and you pay off the expense. Um, so you download that. The other thing you need is this uh, piece of hardware. It's a DMX to USB converter. So we have that in a rig with um, our audio interface and this DMX converter. And then we went to Long McQuaid and rented a pair of these Yorkville lights. So when you go to the Emu software, it has this whole list of different lighting brands. So we were able to kind of just go up and find the lights we rented or loaned from Long McQuaid. And when you drag those in, you get those into these DMX channels. Uh, the next thing we did was there's a way to map these to different channels. So we took all the fixtures and mapped them to a channel. So it's VST channel three. So that when we go into Ableton, where our backing track is, they all kind of land up in this sort of type of thing where the software is communicating with this VST we're using in Ableton. And then to make this programmable, um, you'll see that these are all kind of mapped to these m macros, so that fader one in this case, can move this. Fader one, I'm not sure what fader one is. I have to check over here, but they're all mapped to these macros, so that when I go in to do the light programming, I have these options to control the main one, so dimness. We can turn the dimness up or down, which you need to have, in this case, the dimness on to get, play around with the colors. So we can turn red all the way down, turn blue all the way up, and so on. And you can kind of get a blend of colors by playing with these in such a way. Uh, oh, now we got some like orange, some teal, back to green. And then there is this strobe function. I found it a different way I end up kind of programming strobes. Like there's a different way to do it with the rate too. I just found that this wasn't really the best way to do it because what you could do for like a strobe effect is to go in on a more rhythmic level if your band's playing with a backing track and everything is kind of quantized, maybe actually let me show you. So if we're playing like a section that's pretty rhythmic, you'll see that every kind of hit is kind of quantized. Where's the breakdown? Yeah, so I've gone, I've gone in and sort of programmed, get like a strobe effect, just sort of automating all of these on these lights on and off to create that strobe, as opposed to just like random. So it's just the software, the hardware, you line those up, you do a bit of mapping between the software over here to communicate with Ableton, and if you're already running a backing track rig, it just sort of fits into your, um, your session as just like another channel. And then boom, we show up for shows, 
set the lights, get everything kind of configured, and then just plug in, and then we got a light show. Alright, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.